Well, hello there. New Milan Design here with another video from the series called Before and After, where I'll show you render settings for my project. Today we are working with this uh, forest uh, log cabin and the shot we're looking for is an early morning or a uh, sunrise shot. So let's start by uh, creating our base render. And as usual, one more copy of the same thing for our effects. I'm going to uh, apply one of the presets uh, from Lumion 9 called uh, Realistic. And I'm going to add a couple of more uh, effects that we'll need today, specifically uh, the volumetric sunlight. Just going to disable for now so it doesn't obstruct our picture. Uh, we'll need uh, real skies. And I'm going to uh, choose one of the morning presets. This one looks uh, pretty nice. And one more effect, we'll need to adjust the sun as well. There we are. I'm going to start with the real skies. As I can see, pretty much uh, it is already in place the way I want it. If we flip it, uh, flip the sky uh, on and off in here, we can see the, the change right away. I like the small uh, high clouds in here, the cirruses in here. I'm going to adjust the brightness a little bit down and the heading uh, can stay where it is. All overall brightness just a little bit down. Now we're done in here. Let's move on uh, to uh, the sun, which is going to be a little uh, tricky because I want the sun to be streaming uh, from my uh, left or our left of the picture right into the cabin. So we need to get the, the right height and position as well. So let's try to adjust uh, that. Let's move the height down and the sun heading. I have a couple of trees in front of the, the cabin, so I have to find a gap. Let's try somewhere around here. Uh, I want a little bit of a, of a shadow on, on this part of the cabin and the brightness down just a bit. All right, I'm going to create a real quick uh, preview render in here to see if the sun is okay or not. As we can see, it is not. This is quite tricky because usually in the viewer, you have a different view from your final render. So you need to do a couple of test renders, especially when you're looking for shots like these. So we need to bring the, the height up a little bit. Let's see if this one will work. Yeah, that's much better. That's the shot I was looking for. So we can uh, stick with this uh, sun preset. Uh, I'm going to add the volumetric sunlight as last, as a last effect. So let's sharpen up the image just a little bit, a little bit of uh, the intensity up. That's enough. Uh, exposure. Uh, I'm going to bring a little bit more light in it. So let's bring it up somewhere around here. We may come back to uh, this one. Color correction, very important today. Obviously the morning light is very warm, so uh, the temperature is gonna raise up somewhere around here, and as well as the tint. The picture is slightly uh, moving towards the red spectrum. That's what we want. Uh, nice vibrant colors, so just a little bit up here. Uh, a little bit more of a contrast morning sun is quite uh, quite sharp so let's uh, leave it uh, right in here uh, if we need to come back we will reflections I don't have too many reflective surfaces in here I think there is only one or two the glass in here and the glass on the top and we're done in here we'll uh, have to Turn the speed ray reflections on, not to forget that. And we are done with the reflections. Hyperlight, no need to adjust. Once again, uh, mostly for the interior, so we'll leave it where it is from the preset. Hyperlight, we'll adjust uh, just a little bit. Uh, excuse me. The skylight. Uh, I'm going to bring the, the brightness uh, down and the saturation up just a little bit. Nice and warm 
uh, light, turning on the skylight and projected reflections. I'm gonna leave the render quality on normal. Uh, shadows, once again, quite important today. The coloring, I'm gonna move down because we want the shadows to be nice and warm because the sun will be uh, warm uh, brightness up just a little bit so I get a detail uh, in here in this uh, foreground grass as well a little bit on the on the trees uh, too uh, I'm going to move the interior exterior slider towards the exterior as we have an exterior shot and the omni shadow down just a little bit but not too much I'm going to turn off the soft shadows in here for this uh, particular shot the reason being the morning sun is very low and the shadows are very very sharp so um, I'm going to turn it off and I will only keep the fine detail shadows on. So we're done with the shadows in here, chromatic aberrations. We don't have to adjust uh, too much in here, just the dispersion a little bit down. I like it a little uh, more down than from the preset. Uh, depth of field. Now I want the cabin to pop uh, along with the, with the sun. So I'm going to bring the amount of blur up almost somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna split the foreground and the background evenly. So uh, I need to adjust the focusing distance. Let's use the, uh, the distance measurement in here tool. Confirm and turn it on. Now right away you can see that the, the whole cabin or the front portion is uh, nice and sharp and we got the background and the foreground out of focus and nicely blurred so we are done in here and i said i would come back to um to the volumetric sunlight so let's uh, enable it uh, back on as you can see right in here that's pretty uh, pretty inaccurate so uh, i'm going to bring the brightness uh, down here and let's work with the range. I'm holding a shift key down because it's easier to adjust the effect. Let's see how is this? Just a little bit up in here. Now in the viewer you will see a little different than in the final render so you need to do once again a couple of test renders for this particular effect. And let's see, perhaps the exposure down a little bit. Somewhere around here. Let me just double check if we can adjust something in here. I think the color correction a little bit more of the temperature. There we go, a little more warmer, perhaps even tint and the vibrance. Okay, well that looks uh, about done from my side. So let's have a look. Uh, at our final render. And that's all for today guys. Thanks for watching. Stay well and stay creative.